The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Well, as we always do, we're going to start our day with the German DAX. That's when the futures start trading over there in Germany around, uh, I think it's about, uh, do, 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 do. It's about 1 o'clock in the morning, uh, New York time, when they really get moving over there. Uh, this chart comes from one of our uh, friends from uh, from um, Munich and Air Nich, and he was kind enough to send these on to us each day. I just like to walk through them. As you can see, the ABCD pattern that's there uh, in the DAX that came down yesterday, and we've had the 61% uh, uh, rally, you know, up to the upside so far this morning. So the market is still in this tight trading range. Uh, just like John Logan pointed out when he was doing his TAS profile. So uh, it is in the trading range. It's been here for quite some time. The $64 question is, is it ever going to break out in either direction? And will we make that magical 20,000 point in the Dow? Well, history will tell us uh, what happens with that. But let's just take a little bit closer look here at the DAX this morning because it has a very interesting pattern. As you can see, after we made the uh, ABCD pattern, um, to the downside, we had a nice rally. It went from 11,300 uh, up to 11,600. And so far this morning, we backed off to just a 382 retracement. However, if you look at this really closely, this has formed a 135 pattern as a sell signal with the high of early this morning as being the point for the place where the uh, spot three would come in. So that would be really, uh, really interesting. So you'll want to watch this. Now, also from one of our uh, friends over in uh, across the pond over in Great Britain, they were kind enough to uh, send me uh, a chart of the uh, British pound on a monthly basis. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, this is something that we had been pointing out for quite some time, is that uh, we've had a three drive to a bottom pattern. Uh, that formed down at that 118 level. Yesterday, we made a perfect double bottom, almost exactly within about, I think, about 10 pips uh, in the British pound during the time when uh, Theresa May was giving her speech. And then everybody realized that, well, maybe it's not that bearish, and the market took off uh, to the upside. But this is a uh, beautiful time in price a pattern. And the fact that we came off here so strongly uh, tells us that we're most probably we're going to get another rally. Just getting a rally off of 0.2 of the 123 uh, pattern to the downside, it went from, uh, you know, 139 to 172, folks. That's, uh, you know, th 33 handles. That's a, that's a huge move. You could get a rally like that taking you back you know, to the area of, um, you know, the 149 level, which would be just the area where it broke down from. So even though these patterns uh, have some, you know, long-term capabilities, it's pretty hard to trade them on this because, you know, you have to use a stop that is so darn wide. That's why it's best, you know, to go to a smaller time frame, and then you'll be able to have a better chance of uh, you know what we're watching as you you see some of these things. Okay, we've had a question from uh, one of our uh, folks uh, from down south in the old uh, cotton belt. So I wanted to uh, bring that chart up to you and let you take a look at it. Um, this is uh, from one of my uh, students down in Memphis, and uh, I wanted to let uh, Derek ask me to show this chart for you. This is. Uh, Cotton, and as you can see here, we have some really. I do. I do not trade cotton, folks. I I just uh, had a bad experience with it way back in 1973. Haven't traded it since. I still chart it, but I haven't traded uh, coffee, cocoa, or cotton 
in uh, all of that uh, all that time and you know what i haven't missed it at all that's the main thing but look where we are in the uh, in the cotton market right here you can see we made that beautiful gartley up there at the 75 cents per pound level uh, we bought, backed off about three cents a pound from the almost yeah three cents a pound uh which is a roughly uh, eighteen hundred dollars in the cotton but look where it's setting right now we're setting right on a 20 min line going back to uh, november uh, we're also setting at a 61% retracement of the last low that we made back on December 19th. So you've got a really good support spot here in the cotton to take a look at it from the long side. Uh, this is not a recommendation, folks. This is an observation. There's two big different things. I have no interest in this. I'm bringing this to your attention. Uh, for several of our listeners uh, down in the Cotton Belt, we have some listeners from Natchez, Mississippi, uh, which is absolutely a fabulous place to visit. It's really cool. And uh, there's another town. What is it? the name of it? Uh, Jackson, Mississippi. So uh, all of those uh, uh, folks that do trade cotton, this is a very interesting pattern here in the cotton. It also has that three drive to a top pattern when it got up to that one to that 75 cents per pound level too. So that's a, a very very interesting uh, to to watch. By the way, I want to mention, uh, yeah, <laughs> yes, uh, Paul Tudor Jones is from Memphis, and uh, he is a he was a friend of Eli Tellus, and the, uh, Eli was uh, the big cotton king. I I met Eli several times when I uh, went to Memphis with my to visit my best friend Jay Cross, and uh, I was able to uh, be able to have Eli Tellus Jr. as one of my students about 20 years ago. He's still a cotton trader, uh, but he lives in New York City. And uh, so anyway, this is, uh, this is just, uh, my, it's just my preference, folks. Basically what happened was, uh, you remember these squawk boxes that we talk about on CNBC? We had one at Conti Commodity, and they would always uh, say, oh, you know, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, this is going to happen. And uh, yeah, Willard Sparks, that's exactly right. I knew Willard also. Anyway, um, they, uh, I, was, I was long cotton, and it was limit up. And I gave my broker an order to sell it. And uh, the, the fill came back about three minutes later, and it was filled limit down. There was a difference of about $15,000. And uh, the, the broker on the squawk box was, uh, do you want the order or not? Do you want the order or not? And my broker kept shaking his head, yes, yes, yes. And so I took the order. It went limit down for three, three days after that. And basically what had happened was I had just stumbled into the high of the market. I mean, it was just, you know, dumb luck that I got out. I was trying to get out limit up. I got limit down. There was a difference of two cents up or two cents down, which was four cents. And that's uh, that's the main thing. So we'll be watching it. The, mo the movie The Firm, that was really a great movie with Tom Cruise. Uh, a couple of my friends are in that uh, movie as uh, extras. If you remember that part there by where they were uh, on the uh, – Oh, dear, I can't remember the name of that boat out there. The I can't, It's right there on the Mississippi. Uh, anyway, they they had all kinds of extras in that area, and uh, they, they they paid the 50 bucks a day to uh, be in the movie as an extra, and then you got free meals with the, with the actors and stuff. I do know Gene Hackman. He was not my customer at uh, Drexel Burnham, but I met him. He lived in Santa Barbara. And, of course, he was in the movie Hoosiers, which was from my area. I was in one of those high schools in that movie and uh, had a nice chat with him with his little his little uh, little dog. He had one of these little Shih Tzu dogs in, uh, uh, in Santa Barbara at uh, Tootie's uh, restaurant and uh, met him. Oh, that was about 15 years ago. He now lives in uh, New Mexico. He has a little, uh, a little place in New Mexico and just taking it easy and just doing a lot of reading. He does a lot of writing, too. He does a lot of screenplays. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
the TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting tfnn.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and we want to take a look at uh, Amazon. We were uh, bringing this chart to your attention yesterday because it was completing uh, an ABCD pattern. As you can see, it went right up to that area of 820. We got all the way down uh, to the 803 level before we closed around 809. Uh, if you happen to do that trade, you certainly would want to have your, your stop at break even around the 819 level. That way you would be uh, in a risk-free situation. So uh, the, I'm just pointing these patterns out to you. I'm not putting uh, trade recommendations out here in the den for sure, but I'm just giving you some ideas of uh, what what to look for. So we'll see what's going on. By the way, uh, I did get uh, in contact with Bill Meridian yesterday, and Bill has going to be coming on our show next week. He wanted me to give you an alert that he thinks there's going to be a, a short-term bottom in stocks around uh, Friday the 20th. And uh, so we will see. That happens to be the – it's two days from now. Boy, am I good at math. Shut the front door and raise the rent. But he's looking for a short-term bottom here uh, around the 20th. And I believe that our friend uh, Norm Winsky is also looking at something like that. So we'll keep an eye on uh, Friday's action in the market. And of course, we have the inauguration going on, and there's going to be uh, quite a bit. Uh, they tell us there's going to be a lot of protesters there. So there could be some uh, you know, fireworks going on on whether or not it affects the market or not really doesn't mean uh, a whole lot i don't think it would be short term is my uh, belief but we'll go from there but as you can see here uh, in the um hold i think i put, posted it shut the front door raise the rent let's take a look here okay there's what we're looking at we did uh, we did hit that level so we're watching amazon uh from a spot now as far as the uh the crude oil goes uh, we've we've broken down below the 78 percent retracement this morning folks we hit it almost exactly 
Uh, but the problem is that it's just not holding right now. So it's getting nearer that, uh, that let me just get this up here so you can see it and we'll give you an idea of what we're looking at and you'll have a pretty good idea. Hold on one second. This is what I was looking at earlier this morning and you'll see here that we are coming down and because we have a bearish bias uh, in this and the fact that we have such a strong move down in the crude oil, uh, it's you have these wide bars. You have to wait for these bars to dissipate so that you don't have to worry about whether it's going to be um, – uh, you, you don't have to try to catch a falling knife is what I'm trying to say. That's the main thing. That's If you remember the very first chart that we brought out this morning from um, uh, from the for, from uh, uh, Munich, how he took the uh, the DAX index and went from a 30 minute, you know, down to a 15 minute. You know, those that's what you want to do is you get down closer and closer so that you can reduce your risk. You only really uh, have a pretty good uh, yes, yes. Mr. Mr. Winsky did call uh, for a top on uh, Tuesday through Thursday. That this is correct, uh, but he did have a you know a short term cycle in there on the 20th, if you'll remember. But if you'll give me one second here, I want to bring. I'll, I'll clarify this because uh, you know we have Bill on the Bill on the air, all Bill Meridian on the air all the time, and we certainly want to. Oh dear, oh, don't tell me I can't find it. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Boy, oh boy, this is uh oh where in the heck are we? You know what? I'm gonna have to get it at the break. I don't see where it is. I'm I'm looking at it here and I know I would never delete anything from him, but I I just can't see the uh I just can't see it. Uh, anyway, also our friend Stan Harley from uh, Harley Stock Market Cycles, he's also looking for a low coming in uh, towards the uh, the end of the month uh, in uh, in stocks, a short term low. So that's another one that that could be uh, that could be very very interesting. We want to watch that uh, uh, also. Boy, I've got to find this thing from uh, from Bill Meridian. Doggone it! What did I do here? Well, I'm not going to worry about my technical expertise here. Let's just get on to the market here and take a look at it. So that's the, that's the main thing we want to be watching here. Okay, now we have a uh, – someone had a question uh, about the uh, the bean market and stuff like that. I just want to post to you uh, what's going uh, – happening here in beans. We have a, a, a modified weather market in beans. I say modified because it could be uh, short term. You'll notice here that we went up and made a 1.618 expansion up there at the uh, 352 level uh, the high was 352 and a half we're now trading around 346 uh, these last three days have all been related to wet weather coming across uh, everywhere as you can see uh, the the belts in the uh, Brazilian area have been pelted with uh, uh, Argentina and Brazil have been pelted with a lot of extra water and that is affecting their crop down in that area. But that's a modified weather market. We're not seeing the same thing in some of the other markets. You know, we're also looking at some that would be very interesting as far as, uh, you know, um, wheat and corn. But they have not broken out uh, to the upside at all uh, as yet. And I say as yet with a, a little bit of tongue in cheek because some of those are just not, uh, you know, uh, as wild as course as you get with beans because we're looking at a Brazilian crop that is about 50% uh, of the world usage so it's you know, we've got basically two crops when I first started trading beans back in 19 oh boy that was a long time ago 1969 um, you know the I think the Brazilian crop was about five or ten percent and now it's it's basically 50 percent let's go to the US dollar this is where the action is folks uh, we we talked about this and we got right up to it yesterday so it's very important we mentioned this several times as you can see the euro got up to this uh, 107.25 level uh, again yesterday we so far all we've done is we backed off about 60 70 pips which of course is the uh, part of the harmonic number uh, in the euro so if the euro can hold this 106 level and, and then get back above the 107 level again you're going to be looking at a pretty bullish uh, 
scenario in the euro. But right now, uh, we've just gone and we've made perfect corrections. If you remember, we were talking about the dollar index yesterday at that key level of 100, and we hit that puppy right on the money yesterday. I mean, it was like uh, almost like magic. And uh, that's when uh, the euro was trading at 107 and change. We got down to that 100.34 level, which was the 78% uh, retracement of this previous low. It was an ABCD, so it actually held there. So this is the key that we're looking at. It's going to be today or tomorrow. It's not going to stay here very long. It's either going to go turning around really quickly or it's going to uh, start another move up. So uh, this is a uh, this is big. What's happening at this particular level and in all form in all formats? Oh, I've got to mention something else about the foreign exchange. About the, two things. One is uh, we hear we hear talk about this uh, currency wars, and when they do currency war type stuff, what they're doing is is a currency will devalue their currency to give them a better uh, value in the market. In other words, if you have you can spend more RMB. With your dollars, that's a that's a good thing for China, a bad thing for uh, for for us. So if you want to take a uh, a trip to China now, now's a good time because the RMB buys uh, you know quite a few to the used to be six. Now we're almost at seven. You know that's a 15 percent difference. The big the big deal is Europe. I mean, look at the euro. You're trading in the euro around 106 and change. Uh, the last time uh, I was there, it was 134, 134. So you can see how some of these swings swing around. So stay, stay tuned. I got some very important information from Chicago, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment 
is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I wanted to, uh, first of all, talk about the Goldman Sachs that we we posted yesterday. We had that big ABCD pattern up there. Uh, the market opened at 243 and went down and took out the lows of 2017, if you can believe that. We got down to 235 and change in the gold, in Goldman Sachs. Right now, we're trading it around the 238 level. We're having a little bit of a bounce back, but... That's how quickly this market broke down. Now, if it goes back and makes a new high, you know, it can go anywhere you want. Now, I wanted to make a little announcement here, folks. I know foreign exchange uh, is getting a lot of press in the markets, as it always has. Uh, when we first start, when I first started trading, you know, way back in the the, the 60s, uh, we didn't even have an NFA. The NFA, or excuse me, the CFTC didn't come into being until 1975. And then a couple of years after that, the NFA, the National Futures Association, uh, came in and uh, started to do some regulation. But we have virtually no regulation going on in the foreign exchange market. Some of it's done, you know, by strong arm techniques, but officially they have very little uh, to do with any of these other things. They set their own margins and everything. And when you see these people come out with, where they're giving you um, a, 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 a deal cancellation policy, can you, let, just to show you how crazy this is, a, a foreign exchange company, I'm not going to mention it, a, a broker that uh, does business, just like Merrill Lynch or, you know, um, uh, gosh, I keep thinking of Smith Barney. All these companies are gone. <laughs> but any any brokers, uh, interactive brokers. How how would you feel if interactive brokers gave you a deal that uh, if you put your trades on, uh, and, and in six hours you could cancel the trade with no uh, with no penalty, and you just get out of it, and uh, you don't have to worry. You could have a thousand dollar loss in it, but uh, you can cancel the trade. But how can they do something? Yeah, E.F. Hutton. When they talk, people listen. But how can they do something like that? Well, it's very easy. First of all, they have decks of probably thousands of customers, and they take the other side of that trade. Is what they do. So if if you buy it, they're booking the trade because somebody else on the other side is they're doing the same thing. They're booking both sides of the trade. How can they do that? Because they know statistically about 80% of the people that are trading are going to lose money. That's because you have a lot of people that are coming in that are very, very new. People that stay in the business for a very long period of time are going to make it. But it does take time, usually somewhere between three and five years to do that. But I've, I've seen these statistics with Mark Douglas uh, many, many years ago when he was uh, helping Merrill Lynch, you know, do some of this psychological stuff. And it was amazing that how many of these people, and you could see the evolution of their of their accounts. You know, they would be losing and losing, and then they're losing less and less, less and less, and pretty soon they start making it. And then when they start turning the corner, then that's all altogether different. But the rules are the same in our business, just like any others. I saw an article about New York uh, this past weekend where 97% now, the beginning restaurants in New York don't make it. 97%? Why in the world would anybody want to open a restaurant, for heaven's sakes? That's ridiculous. Okay, news from Chicago. Folks, every year when I lived in Chicago, I lived there. Well, I lived there when I was a kid, of course. But uh, uh, during 1983 and 84 and part of 85, I, uh, I lived in – well, 80, yeah, part of yeah, 82, 83, 84 – uh, I lived in Chicago, then I went to um, uh, Princeton to work with Commodity Corporation. But every Friday, we would go to this restaurant on the near south side of Chicago, not the place where it's really bad. It gets bad about 3,000 south, about three miles south of the city. This is like 1,200 south. Uh, on Halstead, there's a restaurant called Roditi's. It's a, a Greek restaurant that Mark and Paula Douglas introduced me to, and we had wonderful times there. Well, Paula called and told me that uh, Roditi's has now been sold. Someone else is taking it over, and rumor has it that they're going to tear the property down and build a high-rise. So that's a bad thing that I didn't want to uh, – Listen to, but that's what you have to do. Okay, I'm going to go, go, since we're talking about Mark Douglas a little bit, I wanted to bring some of his information to you. I keep this on my desk uh, because I've, uh, I was fortunate to know the guy, and he was one of my best friends for 
till the end. But anyway, basically, when you want to trade, folks, this is what you really need to have. I'm going to give you some ideas. You know, the, the patterns are all right, but that's not where you uh, – you know that's not where you're going to make any money. You're going to you're going to make your money when you have a foundation of absolute trust in what you're doing. And I can see from the tiger den in here, you've got some traders that really have that absolute trust. They know exactly what they're doing. And you know, Mr. Z, I'm certainly talking about you. Uh, and also, you know, of course, we have the contributors, Steve Rhodes and Basil Chapman, and all the other folks, uh, Andy Hike, Dave. Uh, White and, of course, Tom O'Brien and his son, Tommy. These guys, you know, know what that stuff is doing, and that's really what you want to be, uh, you know, you know, be watching. So anyway, there are two skills involved uh, when you're trading. You must be able to perceive an opportunity, okay? That's the first thing you got to do. The second thing is you have to have a precise methodology that takes advantage of that opportunity. Now, it can be anything. It could be it could be astrology, it could be patterns, it could be ratios, it could be an 8-day moving average. All of those things can be very very important. That's the key to be watching. So watch this very, very closely uh, when you're learning to do this. But your foundation of trust must be without hesitation. You've got to believe this without any, no matter what anybody tries to tell you, whether you're, they tell you you're wrong or not, or whatever, you have a bad period, that you have to be able, you know, to be able to uh, act. And, and it's not easy, too, because you're going to have periods where you have losses. And uh, whenever you have a loss, you always have a fear that, well, maybe we need the market is going to uh, actually uh, scare me to death one more time. Well, if it does, no big deal, because if you have a foundation if, of trust of what your methodology is, you know you're going to come out of it over a period of time. And remember, folks, if you don't have a trade on, that's an actual position. No trade is an actual position because you're waiting for something to happen. And that's actually a very, very good thing. So what you really need to do, and I'm going to do this very succinctly. So you, well, that's a pretty big word from somebody from Terre Haute, Indiana, is you want to follow a set of steps that would allow you to build confidence in your belief structure. And you do that over baby steps. You don't do it overnight. A, you define what you want to learn. B, you define how you relearn it. And C, you practice it until it becomes like a, a strong a cable where you weave a strand a day until it becomes almost unbearable. Okay, let's take a look here at the next thing we want to talk about is uh, execution for a trade is the easiest part because when you put when you place the trade uh, place the trade, that's when trading actually starts because you've made the preparation, you have your idea of what you want to do, but once you've placed the trade, now you're you're exposed to risk. You're also exposed to profit. So that's the main thing of you keep in mind that that's what we're looking at. Remember that the market has unlimited potential, unlimited potential on the upside and unlimited potential on the downside. And we know by looking at the risk reward equation, we only have one thing that we can control in the risk reward equation, and that is the risk, because we don't know how much we're going to make if we are going to make anything. So you must focus on the risk. When you focus on the risk, that's what you're going. If you're watching any of these football games, you'll see the, te the teams with the best defense are the ones that are heading to the playoffs. So keep that in mind also. 877-927-6648. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today.
Everbank is a member, FDIC, and Equal Housing Lender. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. Tuesdays and Thursdays, we broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour. Following the Tom O'Brien Show, Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien, along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts. And keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we've had a request to take a look at the banking index on a daily basis. Uh, as you can see from the time of the uh, election, we've left, uh, I've actually missed one gap. There's another gap at the old high there. There's one, two, three, four, five, six different gaps here. Uh, and now we've gone into a trading range since the uh, 8th of December. Uh, we made a slightly higher high on Friday, as you can see here. That We focused on that program yesterday, so we'll watch this uh, very, very closely, of course. But these gaps make it very, very uh, interesting because gaps are uh, unknown. That means that people are willing to buy something uh, at any price. Now, we know that gaps are usually filled, and I, you know, I've seen so many of them. There's a few out there that have not been filled, but uh, most gaps will be filled. Uh, this was a very emotional time, and it still is. Uh, so we're going to watch this uh, closely unfold because we could come all the way back to 74 in the banking index without any trouble at all. Because remember, the markets that go up have a tendency to come down. We've seen this, you know, happy, you know, happen more and more than uh, you might want to think about because that's what's uh, that's what's really happening as we as we see uh, in some of these other things. Now, I wanted to uh, talk just a little bit about the Treasury bond market here. We've had this uh, market has uh, had a pretty good uh, rally off of the bottom. The $64 question. Uh oh, just one second here. I I got off the ro the beaten track here for a second. There we go. I'm okay now. Give me one second here, and we'll put this up, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, these are the bonds. We got up to the uh, 382 level uh, the other day within about three pips. So far, we backed off down to this 150 uh, one and change level. And if we can hold this level around 149, there's a possibility we could have another leg up. But also, if you look at this Treasury bond, the last time we had an equal move like this, which was back in August and September, uh, we rallied the exact same number of points, which was seven. Uh, and then you're going to see another mo move to the downside because interest rates are going higher. We have completed what I believe is a the biggest, uh, what we call the... Uh, 
Um, the biggest bull market of all time. By the way, folks, if you look at this pattern here at the top, uh, one of our listeners here at TFNN sent me an email to remind me that even though I didn't uh, bring it out as an official thing, that uh, he wrote it down because he said that I said that, that was going to be the trade of the century. <laughs> no, the trade of the decade. He said that was going to be the trade of the decade. So I don't know if it's going to be the trade of the decade, but at least it started out okay. The, the, you know, All I do is I look for these patterns and cycles coming together. And when one of them looks really good, then, you know, I take a take a quick uh, gamble at it. All right. Now, let's take a look here at the uh, Japanese yen, because this is a really key one. Uh, as you can see, we've broken down. We're heading towards the target that we've been looking for, which is down around this 112 level. We got down below the 113 level yesterday, had a little bit of a bounce. So we're still looking for the possibility of this uh, Japanese yen to come back to this 112. That's also the old high from way back in May. If you connected the line from way back in May and drew it directly over, you'll see that that's the same price. So that will be an interesting support point because we know technically when things break out to the upside, they have a tendency to back off into their uh, old highs and old lows. That's uh, the main thing of uh, what you're watching as you, as you see some of these things uh, unfold. So that's pretty much what we're looking at so far this morning. Uh, I do want to mention about the gold market. Uh, I believe that we're in a, in a corrective mode in gold. But, you know, we did hit a high yesterday up at that near right near that 1220 level. We had 1219 and change. That was just a few pennies off of the 382 retracement. So we'd love to see a, a correction here. All we've had happen in the uh, Treasury or excuse me, in the gold over these past uh, months is nothing more than $17 retracements ever since we started bottoming on December the 15th. We had seven of those. There have been seven $17, 17 to $20 retracements in gold, you know, all uh, all along. And that that's where you, you, you have the advantage of trying to look for these harmonic numbers. Now, do you take advantage of all of them? Of course not, because you don't have a perfect uh, ratio or something coming in at that time. So uh, all it is, is it's giving you an idea that that's what you're that's what you're trying to look at when you're uh, you know trying to place a trade because when they all come in together in other words you have a retracement and a harmonic number and a pattern and ratios and everything those are the setups that you like to see and those are the ones that uh, you know really uh, light up the the tote board when you uh, when you finally put those trades on so we're still a little a little uh, farther away here from a major correction in gold. Uh, if we do get above the uh, 12, uh, 30, $1,230 an ounce level in gold, that is going to be even more bullish than we're already looking at. But folks, stop and think. You know, we bought them back here uh, on December the 15th, so it's been a, a month and three days. Uh, the biggest correction we had has been $20. Most of them have been $17. Uh, we had about six different ABCD patterns on the way up. It stopped right at the 382. So you got to have a heads up on gold, folks. This 1165 level is going to be really interesting if we get down to that level. That that will be 1165 to 1170. And it's not going to get there today, but you want to watch it because it certainly has a, a chance uh, to doing that. The other one that looks really interesting is that British pound. I mean, we rallied 500 pips, folks. Go back and look at your currency charts. And when you see a market that takes bad news and rallies 500 pips, somebody out there knows something, and it certainly isn't you and I. I mean, there's something fundamental out there that is going to make people want to take a look at the British pound. And uh, you know, the best time to look at it was down around 1, 120 when we had the, you know, the double bottom in there. But no one's interested at that part unless you're looking at, uh, and you're, unless you're looking at patterns and not following any of the, of the fundamental stuff. Uh, that they throw at you. And believe me, they throw a lot of fundamental things at you. The $64 question is, which ones are going to stick and which ones aren't? So those are the ones that we're watching uh, with a great deal of intent today, because I think those have a, a great, uh, the gold and the British pound have a probability to do something uh, really surprising here over the next uh, next few months, because uh, they're a, most people are not expecting it. And B, the charts are saying, hey, pay, pay, pay attention here, because we could be looking at something really, really uh, important uh, in some of these uh, things as we, uh, as we walk through looking at some of these charts. Someone's asked a question here about Goldman Sachs. If you'll give me a, a question here, I'll hold on a second here. I will bring it up and take a quick look at it. 
I haven't had a beeper go off yet, so I don't think anything's happening. Yes, yeah, we got well. We actually made a lower low today. We went down to the 232 level. That takes out the January low uh, by quite a bit, but we've rallied about uh, five dollars uh, uh, a pound, <laughs> about five dollars a share, you know, since that time. But that's that's just when you got a 200 dollar stock, that's really nothing. That's just the short covering and stuff that goes on. Uh, in the market, so keep an eye on that. If, if you if you wanted to have some fun, go in and prove to yourself how harmonic mar how 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 harmonic numbers work. Take a half hour chart on Goldman Sachs and find the harmonic number on it, and you're going to find it, and you're going to be really surprised at how well it works. So those are key things that uh, you want to certainly watch if you want to trade Goldman Sachs. No matter what you trade, you should find the harmonic number because that tells you what your maximum risk is going to be, and it will also tell you what your first profit objective is going to be. Those are the what I think are the key things that you want to focus on if you're going to uh, you know, use them. 877-927-6648. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we've got about a half hour to go of happy time here. I was not able to find my um, Bill Meridian uh, information, but he did uh, send me a special um, 
note that uh, he's looking for a short-term bottom in stocks on the 20th. They could extend all the way out, uh, of course, uh, to the uh, uh, 23rd, which would be Monday. So keep an eye on that. Right now, we've got the uh, Dow Jones is down uh, 43. The S&P is down a quarter. Uh, NASDAQ is uh, still up, of course, because of some of the stocks that are very heavily weighted in that group. So uh, we'll uh, just as we go through, we've got uh, news coming out today in Apple. Um, I, I'm just looking at the patterns. Uh, it tells me that Apple could should get it if it's really bullish. You know, it could get to 124. But remember, uh, Apple is a, a cult stock. So it could easily go nuts. So, But the pattern says, and we'll cover this on tomorrow's show, I believe the uh, pattern completes at the 78% level near the area of 121 to 124, as I recall from uh, memory. As a part as a as the Treasury bonds, if we get below the uh, 51 151 level in the Treasury bonds, it's probably going to signal that this uh, 382 rally that we just had might be more significant than people might want to think about, and so you want to watch it uh, relatively closely there because it's a, a spot where it could easily. Um, you know, melt down from. So just keep in mind, you know, some of these numbers that we're watching. Remember, they're just numbers and patterns or nothing, uh, nothing more than that. Next week, we will have Rich Anderson as our guest and also uh, Bill Meridi as our guest. And I'm trying to also get Shane Smolian as our guest again, so we can update some of these things because this is going to be a big event that happens here uh, in the inaugural uh, on Friday. I There's a, some Pretty heavy astro stuff uh, going on there, and it also it's going to be historically it's going to be pretty interesting too. So we'll need to factor those into our market things to watch. So uh, those are the things that we're you know pretty much you know keeping an eye on. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.